<laughs> Look at it, it is huge. This is massive. This is massive, guys. I don't know, we're gonna get it in the boat. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's a Kraken. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Fishing. Now, first of all, let me tell you where we are. As always, I'll get that out of the way. Today we're in Portland in Dorset, and more specifically, we're in Portland Harbour. Now, you can come down here, guys. You can fish inside the harbour. There are um, zones you can fish and can't fish. All of that will be in the links down below. Go check it out. It's literally, you get change of a tenner for the day for a small dinghy like this, and you can go out and have a cracking time. Well, I say a cracking time. You've got to catch to have a cracking time, but I guess the day out in the dinghy is better, you know, a rubbish day's fishing is a better than a hard day's work, I guess. So, you know, either way, win-win situation. As always, I'm here number one online superstar Wayne from Wayne's World Fishing this bloke just turned up I don't know I think he's a local idiot that helps out when people putting their boats in the water says his name's Kyle Sprig you know he's all right from a distance I guess and what is on the agenda today no we're not out being in international superstars or football players or womanizing no no we thought we'll leave that for a weekend we're coming out to catch squid now i know you're probably thinking what the hell are they going out catching squid for squid's not really the target as target species for anything normally it's just what people use for bait that's exactly what we're here for we're going to try and get some squid before it gets too late in the season because it's now late uh, november well, it's early december actually and the squid are still about, only just. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and uh, bulk uh, a load of squid uh, and get a load of squid out and then we'll freeze them down and we'll use them for cod bait throughout the winter because squid can be quite expensive. So instead of spending loads and loads of your money, guys, just go and get a few squid jigs and go out and catch some squid. Now, you don't need a boat to catch squid. You don't need to go miles and miles out. We're doing it because we're lazy and we can cover a lot of ground in the boat. But you can catch squid from the shore. Um, you know, just ask people in your local area. You know, the internet's your friend, guys. Have a little Google about it and I'm pretty sure you'll find some squidding or squid hot spots and you'll be able to go around and throw a jig. So we'll, we'll walk you through our jig rig and hopefully we'll have some squid out today. A couple of the old inky little predators out there to show you on camera as to what we're after. But hopefully, as I said, it's not really the sort of thing that people target. They're not renowned for their fighting ability and all the rest of it. They kind of hang themselves a bit like mackerel. But let's be fair, mackerel is good fun to catch. So And so is squid. I've only ever caught one before uh, today. So... Um, you know i'm a bit of a novice at it as well but it was so much so that, that squid i did catch actually hung hung itself and i'm pretty sure today they'll oblige and hang themselves so without further of a i'm not saying it but with that yeah more hesitation let's get in the water and we'll go and see if we can catch some squid and we'll run you through the rigs and hopefully we'll have some on the boat to show you so subscribe like comment on the videos before we forget let's go fish What's going on in the bathroom? I'm alright, Max. I'm alright, Max. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to tweet you for the rig we're going to use it for the squid today. I've just got a light boat rod, a little boat reel. I don't really have to use a boat rod and reel, you only have to use, you can use a spinning rod, but because we're going out on a boat, full boat rod, why not? All it is, we've got ourselves five ounce lead, just run on the line, a plastic bead just to protect the knot, 
a swivel. On that swivel we've got a hook link of about, so that's about two foot long I'd say. And uh, all it is, is just a squid jig. And all you want to do is, you want to drop it all the way to the bottom, let it touch bottom, do, tighten it up, make sure it's tight, pull it up, down, up, down, but we want to do it uh, slowly. You don't want to do it fast, because straight when you start doing it fast, they don't want to know. So just up and down. So fill it down, all the way up, fill it back down again, and hopefully you can catch some of them squiggly monsters. What's going on there then, Kyle? Got a squid on. Oh, he's got a squiddly diddly. Let's well, have here a look, see. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I can see him. Look at him. In all his. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. Did they get me? I don't know. Ah, oh, it's gone everywhere. I hope it did get you. Did it get you? No, I didn't. Oh, did they only have one ink? Huh? No, yeah, they only have one. Oh, he's just absolutely scolding me, this one squid. Oh, oh he's, he's, inking. he's inking it oh, all over the boat. Well, guess who's cleaning that up? Because it ain't, ain't going to be me. Oh, my God, he just gripped me up. You prat. Oh. Well, on the plus side, I mean, that's the, it's the third squid, guys, but we finally got the camera out of the bag. We have had a couple of squid already. But, um... We finally got we got the camera out and we we'll try and get this one. I've just absolutely broke him in half. In what do you mean you broke him in half? <laughs> oh yeah, you actually have <laughs> broke him in half. These are bait guys, I'm Well they are so. bait, yeah, just for the record, not, none of these will be going back. These are prime cod bait. Yep. So he can go straight in the bucket with the others, you know. Uh, well that was pretty badly done actually, Cole, but uh, yeah, it's it is what it is. It is so uh all right, well, let's see if we can catch another one, eh? That was terrible. That Mate, was terrible. Ah, that didn't get me in the mood. That just zoomed straight past. Shocking. Absolutely shocking, son. Oh, they are super slimy. Right, though. this time, try not to decapitate it, please. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It looks a bit better than the last one. Well, the, the bend in the rod, anyway, looks oh, a bit better. Then there was now, don't let it squirt ink all over us and that, Carl. So just oh, try nice and control one. it. Oh, that's a much better squid, that one. Try to control it, please. Please. Yeah, he's having a little touch. Oh, he's having a little bit of a little turn there, guys. Just hold him down in the water. Yeah, <laughs> let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. Because you're probably wondering why are the lads not getting the um, landing net? Would you like to explain why we're not getting the landing net, Kyle? Because someone may have forgot it. Right, there you go. <sighs> Typical Wayne's World fishing style, we forgot the landing net. No, de no decapitation for this one then, no? No, no. Not, not yet, no, anyway. Not yet, no, he's still singing, dancing. He very he's much full of water, Full though. of water, yeah, he's about to squirt that all over you yeah. if you're giving him half a chance. So let's not give him half a chance, actually. Try and tip him up over the... Do you reckon it will come out of him? No, he's holding it in. We'll just release him in the bucket. Oh, nice. I say, don't you dare let him squirt that in the bucket now. <sighs> nice. Well, that's more bait there. Um, more bait. We've just moved location, so hopefully... Um, we'll have a few more because this seems to be the spot. There's another fella over here doing a bit of squid fishing and uh, he said this seems to be the spot. But I don't know if you guys can tell, we are here at the, just on the breakwater of Portland, just outside the breakwater now. So, um, as you can see, you probably think, oh, they're in a, looks like they're in a lake. We're not in a lake at all. We are, as I say, we're in the sea. Glass. And it is like a mill pond at the moment, so we're taking advantage of it. So. Oh, I thought that was a bite. It must be you kicking the bloody rod. Yeah, no, nice try. Right, anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can get another one let's of them squid. That's four now, isn't it? That's four. Yeah, that's four. Well done. That's four squid. Right, Carl, I'm not happy about this now. This is know, like I'm the I'm third squid. And I've had one. And we didn't get that on oh, camera. Is it nice? Oh, he's a good size. Oh, he's not bad oh. size. Oh. He's at, he, oh, he's having a little bit of a squirt up. Oh. I think there's websites for squirt, squirt in there. See, I don't trust them. I just really don't trust them. No. He's not inked. He's jetted a load of water, but he's not inked. Yeah, no, That's no. That's me scared. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, oh, no. You've got to hold it down. Hold it down? Oh. Yeah, I let it he just inked everywhere. Uh, don't get it on the boat, please. I'm trying not to, but. Because that is just the last thing we need. Well, I mean, I've got exactly the same perk uh, jig on as Kyle. Same rig, 
same area but as always guys Kyle's catching them and I'm just here behind the camera so welcome to Kyle's World Fishing as always oh here we go so why you wiggle your worm Squiddly diddly dee and there he is yeah no that's that's worse no it's not bad it's all good bait he's gonna squirt though so I'm oh, gonna chuck him in a bucket I think well let's have a little close up of him though he's changing colours he's gone almost like a I don't know what you'd like yellow or something isn't he what you'd say that was but look at the colours changing look at actually yeah, changing he's actually changing colours as he's probably like I don't know a bit slightly stressed out by the whole situation yeah, it's weird isn't it well done well we'll put him in a bucket and uh with his new friends yeah <laughs> and uh he'll be going on the hook again later though as a bit of a cod bait yeah well done well done Ugh. bad news isn't it yeah very bad slimy news. very slimy, very slimy. <laughs> please don't cry Wayne's got a. Uh, Please don't come up. This a is a crack. If this squid. is a squid, this is the biggest squid of the bloody day, gang. Oh, it's a, it's man a alive. This. It's going to come up. You're going to see it. So oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, just, my God. It's massive. It is a big squid if it is. Oh, oh my, my bloody God, gang. <laughs> Look at it. It is huge. <sighs> this is massive. This is massive, guys. I don't know. We're going to get it in the boat. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. It's a kraken. <laughs> oh, my God, Kyle. <laughs> what have I hooked? That is massive. Mate. Man alive. Oh my god, I just drenched the camera <laughs> on. Oh my god, uh, I can't believe it, that. Keep it down, keep it down, keep, ah. gonna keep doing that, bro. Oh no, this is oh. insane, Kyle. No, don't, no, don't no, get in the I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <coughs> don't right. release the clutch, just bring the rod back. Give right, me the rod. Right, 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 wait, wait, wait. I don't know how we're going to do this. Right, hold the line and then grab it around the top of the yeah. end. Well, we'll try. Right. And he's going to squirt us again, he's going to squirt us again. <laughs> yeah, he's going to keep squirting. Right, okay. Oh no! Mate. Don't know like that, don't know like that. Wait. Grab it, yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh no, 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 he's literally just on me, he's just on me. Oh, you did it! Oh, no! Size of water! Oh my god, I can't believe you grabbed that. That's my squid, but my god, look at it! Hold it up! Oh my, I've never seen a squid that size! Oh, it's got to be about eight pounds! Maybe I can't get it in the shot, look! That is insane! Mate, what the hell is that? <laughs> right, yeah. What is that, Kyle? Swap it, swap, yeah. You give me the camera. What is it? And talk us through this giant I don't know. squid. Look at the camera. <laughs> Mate, Mate, that was that was massive. Mate, what the hell have I just caught? <laughs> How the hell am I gonna grab that bloody thing? It's food, Kyle. <laughs> I was like, that's not going. <laughs> I just grips that up. I was like, no. Mate. Guys, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I mean, you tell me. I, I, I'm never shocked for words, but we came out of a squid. And that is something, I've never seen anything that big before. That is a few bait off of that, guys. I'll tell you that. Look at that. That is about... I don't know. <laughs> I'd say six and a half. Maybe seven. I'd say seven. I'd say seven pound, mate. Yeah. It's a weighty old yeah. squid. Man alive! I, I've never seen a squid this big. I am. I'm. I, I, yeah. We, Wayne's World Fishing. Stay tuned. We we always produce here at <laughs> Wayne's World Fishing, but never normally this good. Man alive! Well, guys, we we're still here and we're still seeing if we can catch more. But I don't think we're going to need to. This should cover us for a couple of seasons. That. Look at the size of his Look eye. Look at him. Bloody. Let's just get the benefit of that. Look at that eye. Look at it. I can't oh. believe it, Kyle. Oh. I said to you, I said, I think I've hit the bottom. That wasn't the bottom. It was almost as big as the bottom. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Well, guys, you know, there you go. You know, you can always subscribe and like the videos. And don't forget, you know, uh, keep an eye out for our videos. We're always <laughs> updating. But uh, I've never seen this on Totally Awesome Fishing or, <laughs> or Kyle and Alex or so on and so forth. So there you go. Well done, Squidward. Nice to see you, fella. But you're now... Um, you're now going to become a hell of a lot of cod bait. <laughs> and I might even take a little bit home for myself. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. <laughs> wow, do you want to keep? I don't know. <laughs> Where do we go from here, Kyle? Where do we go? Oh, we, we need social lives. Yeah. We were stood out here in a dinghy catching squid. We need social that lives. That is massive, mate. This is insane. Well, there you go, guys. Proofs in the pudding. We call squid. You can't say fairer than that. All right, guys. I don't think it's a kraken like the last one. But it's definitely... A uh, squiddly diddly on there. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Oh. I mean, little I'm, baby. Oh, oh, he's just on there. He's, oh, he's just, he's doing Stop all. Stop pulling him up. I'm trying. Not to. He loves it. He loves <laughs> soaking us both. 
<laughs> Let's get the line. Oh, ready? He's coming in. Grab him. Oh, oh, oh. oh and then just drain him off, Carl. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, Carl, that's Kyle Carl wetting me. Well, that's a squid wetting me. Stop wee weeing in my boat. Yeah. Right, what's happened here, guys? I'll show you. Well, well he's, he's here on camera. There are his tentacles, okay. Oh, and it's come off. But the middle one, ah, that he's got <laughs> around my bloody finger. <laughs> Anyone watching that will be dying. <laughs> <laughs> that, Absolutely dying. That, thanks very much, mister, is the clasper. And that's one of the, well, it is one of the tentacles, but that comes out. That's, as you can see, it's got little barbs and loads of suckers, and that's what grabs the prey, and that pulls it in. It's a lot longer than the others, and it pulls the prey into the, which they've got a beak, unlike a fish. They've got, you know, they've got mouths, squid and, and octopus and stuff like that, got beaks. Now, when it comes, when it comes to squid and octopus, the lures we're using are these. They're um, uh, jigs is the word I'm looking for. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. Uh, and if you can notice, just at the end of these jigs here, there's not actually, they're not actually hooks. They're like these tiny little prongs and they're not even barbed. And you're thinking, well, bloody hell, how do... What happens is the cl clasper grabs onto this jig and it, they get in well they get caught on there and there's really that's all there is to it as i said it's, it's not like a hook a barbed hook where you know basically you can shake and go crazy and it's not coming off so the way to do it is don't strike when you get a bite just like very not not easy not uh, just lift into lift it. into it is, yeah that's right lift into it nice and smoothly and keep a constant steady pressure just no wind in and bring them up and it would really really help as well if you took a landing net with you but like a pair of twerps we forgot the bloody landing net today guys so unfortunately we're just gonna have to we've been hand if we can pull out a seven pound squid uh, by hand I'm pretty sure um, you know most things will be all right but I mean to be fair in the perfect world bring a landing net, it'll make a life a lot easier and as you saw there when they get to the surface of it's all hell breaks loose there's ink there's water being squirted everywhere you, you know so it makes a lot life a lot easier bring bring in there but that's basically the setup I mean we've shown you the setup what we're using but I'm just going over it again and just letting you guys know how they hook themselves so there isn't a hook as such just these prongs and it's constant steady pressure and they will come in as you saw so I'm gonna chuck him in the bucket and the light is fading and I think after that Kraken we're gonna to have to call it a day so uh, as always thank you very much for watching the Wayne's World Fishing Show please like subscribe comment on my videos um, even if you don't like me let me know I don't mind join the queue there's loads of them if you like Kyle and you uh, you know like watching him like hog all the limelight as he usually does don't forget to let us know and uh, we'll be doing a hopefully doing a Christmas video soon guys stay tuned for that and in the meantime if I don't see you through week see you through window take it easy and we'll see you on the next one at Wayne's World Fishing I'm gonna go and see if I can catch another squid before it gets too dark all the best